Hi everybody. Uh, today I'd like to do a brief overview of the Midlighter fertilizers. In the very beginning it's a little bit confusing of understanding when to use what. We have basically pre-plant, we have constant feed, and we have weekly feed. Now in each situation, whether it's the seedlings or the soil, those are our basic two times that we're using it. Each one is used. Uh, but used a little differently on the timing. So I'd like to kind of go over that and uh, hopefully make it a little bit easier to understand. And once you get a quick glimpse of the overview, I think uh, you'll see it and it'd be easy to understand. First we have pre-plant. Now this is a fertilizer made from three minerals from the weekly feed as far as on the, the list of 13. Three minerals and it is used in preparing the soil in the beginning. It really helps with um, root growth and new plant growth. So that's a primary purpose of the pre-plant is helping getting the plant started in a healthy way. Pre-plant is used both with uh, growing your seedlings and with your garden soil. Pre-plant is used in the beginning to help give your seedlings and transplants a good boost. However, a second application can be used for ever-bearing crops like tomatoes during the growing season. Next we have constant feed. And this is a diluted fertilizer water made from the weekly feed. So it's actually you take the weekly feed and then turn that into um, a weaker, in a sense a weaker fertilizer um, with water and we're going to feed the um, seedlings with that. And also, I um, like to use it with uh, indoor house plants too. It's really, really effective. Now, after you transplant your plants or your seedlings out into your garden, at that time, you'll sprinkle a little bit of nitrogen down, and that's just to help give the, the transplants, the small plants, a little boost to kind of help them come out of the shock a little bit quicker. And next we have the weekly feed, and this is really the famous uh, formula, the mix of 13 minerals that Dr. Jacob Metleider came up with that covers the major essential minerals that plants need not to show deficiencies. That's the way I like to think about it. And uh, you make it yourself, it's cheap, it's fantastic, and I'm just a big fan of it. The weekly feed is used with uh, growing seedlings. It's involved with the transplanting with the seedlings and also it's the large part of your garden soil fertilizing. I like to make it 25 pounds at a time. I think that's uh, a good weight to work with unless you have a really large garden. Now sometimes you will have to do a special need fertilizing. If you have a plant that's showing a deficiency, um, you have to refer to the uh, Lesson 18 in the Midlighter Gardening Course Manual for more information and there are some great descriptions of deficiencies there. Determining a deficiency is not easy and it does take time and experience. Okay, now I'd like to go through more of the timing on the using the fertilizers. And of course, always look for the details in Lesson 5 in the Midlighter Gardening Course Manual. Starting off with seedlings. And I use the Mitlighter recipe for custom soil for my seedlings uh, growing medium. I'll measure out the pre-plant and then I'll mix it into the growing medium. Make sure that you're using clean water at this point for germinating the seeds. You do not want to use the constant feed yet. Uh, it will hurt or hamper the germination of the seeds. Once the seedlings have sprouted, and they've broken through, then you can start with giving them constant feed. As far as watering with the constant feed, you will have to use your own judgment and water as needed. Now when it's time to transplant your smaller seedlings into larger pots or a bigger flat, I will start off using new uh, Mitlighter custom soil. So it's brand new soil mix, and then I'll add pre-plant and weekly feed on top and then mix it in. So then with the beginning first seedlings is just pre-plant with the transferring 
transplanting the seeds into bigger pots, you're giving it the pre-plant and the weekly feed because we've already got them going and they're going to want some of that fertilizer to uh, go from there. They're going to be hungry. And you will continue to water them with the constant feed as needed. Now let's talk about your garden soil. We're going to be mixing pre-plant and weekly feed into the soil bed before planting. I like to get the fertilizers weighed out in grams and put in small bowls so I know exactly how much is going out and I can just start sprinkling it down the bed roll. You can use a tiller or just a shovel to mix in the two fertilizers, the pre-plant and the weekly feed into your soil bed. After you transplant your seedlings into your soil bed, you will need to add some nitrogen to the soil, close but not too close to the seedlings, to give them a boost um, and help them uh, get through the shock a little quicker and just give them a boost to get going. After your plants have been transplanted into your, your garden, you need to wait at least three days after you put them in, you gave them your nitrogen, and then you can start your seven day regimen of giving them weekly feed. And what I do is I always do my fertilizing with a weekly feed on the same day. So it's normally Sunday. I go out and I'll measure my weekly feed, spread it out, and then just watch them grow. And that's the bulk of it during the growing season, just doing the weekly feed. Um, however, if you have ever bearing plants like tomatoes or cucumbers, you will give them a secondary application of pre-plant um, sometime during the season. I like to do it uh, mid-season. It just gives them a little extra that they need. Um, those type of plants are pretty hungry and they need a little extra. If you do have a plant that has a deficiency and it's showing signs of it, and sometimes it's really hard to tell whether it's a deficiency or if it's a virus or whether it's a fungus, and that's just something that comes with experience um, of growing a garden. That's where I am really trying to improve on, and I know it's just gonna take time over the years. You can go to Lesson 18 in the Midlighter Gardening Course Manual and look at descriptions of common deficiencies. And then you can, maybe something is needing a little phosphorus or something or copper, but you can look through there and try to figure out uh, what you are missing if a plant's not doing well. I'd really like to encourage everybody to uh, look at or buy the Garden Doctor series. It's three books that Dr. Uh, Jacob Mitleider wrote on how to look at a plant and di try to diagnose what's wrong with it. It's, it's really a fantastic series. And I know a lot of master gardeners actually use um, those books to try to help people when people call in with questions. Just a quick note on watering. A lot of people like to water every day or every two days. I, it really just um, is up to you and you just have to water as needed for your garden. I really hope this has helped you understand better the Midlighter fertilizers and when to use them. It was a little rough in the beginning, but um, after going through it a couple times, um, you pick it up and, and you understand it and you can tweak it here and there as you need. One thing for sure though, is that I really love it. It works and um, I've gone from being a black thumb to a green thumb. Uh, that's what's important and important to me. And you can go to the website, my website, plantfoodminerals.com for links and uh, more videos. And hopefully I'll be putting out some more helpful videos for everyone. Thanks for watching and good luck with your garden.